Graham Goodwin editing of dailysportscar.com waiting to get this one underway as the safety car peels off a little bit of wiggling going on it is the pace car now it will be the safety car should it come back watch the acceleration from the more than 1000 horsepower from the hybrid cars as we wait for the red lights to go out and the clock to start counting down from six hours. We're racing at the circuit of the Americas and the pole sitting car of Neil Jarney gets the inside line. It's so wide as they go around. Yeah, he's just managed to hold on to it. I thought he could go through and there in second place has gone through now. It's Mark Webber has made his move very, very quickly. I thought Jarney was just gonna hold on to that grip, but Mark Webber decisive early on. We've seen this before from Aussie Grit. He's really in the zone today and didn't like get bumped from pole position position yesterday. He most certainly did, and a great move around the outside from Mark Webber. He knows this circuit well, of course. Uh, he takes the lead. Uh, he won the race last summer. He wanted pole position to follow that up, but he's got the lead of this race and will now get the hammer down. He already has got a bit of a gap there as the number eight Audi tries to get onto terms with the sister 18 car. Pedro Lamy just coming past us into the pit lane very slowly at the back of the grid at least. He's had a spin, I think, coming out of the final corner. And that's a bit of a shocker for one of the championship contenders in class. And a change round as well as the two Audis have been split and through has come the reigning world champion Sebastian Buemi in the number one Toyota in LMP2, the two G-Drive cars. Remember the 26 car promoted to pole position. Oh, miles off the circuit. Now you'll get away with that in IMSA racing, but not here. That will be a warning for sure for the 26 car of Sam Bird. Watch this battle though, this is the pair of G-Drive cars in LMP2 and they've been hunted down by Ryan DL and Danny Watts from behind here. The two orange and grey cars with the black and green to Patron ESM, Ligier HPD, the Gibson Nissan behind. This is going to be a real battle royal in LMP2 as well. It's not just about the glamour boys with the hybrids up front, this matters to John. And what an absolute delight to see the cars staying on the track surface as they come through the final couple of corners and head over the start line to complete the first lap of many. It is a fully timed event. Just watching one of the rebellions now coming back trouble. through there. That's had trouble in the first lap as well. Yeah, Dominic Kramheimer, Dominic Kramheimer had dropped down well down into the P2 field. And already from the back of the P2 field, the uh, two cars that were relegated to the back of the P grid, the number 36 Signature Talpine and the 47 KCMG car, uh, were in amongst the, mid uh, the midfield. Nico Lapierre taking the start, former Toyota Works driver. Now, what about the GTs? That's changed around too, John. That is Darren Turner ahead, the number 97 car. You might be confused by thinking that's the 99. It isn't. Change of liveries. That's the pole sitting car, the blue and yellow car, but the red and yellow car leads the way. Darren Turner has gone ahead of two of the contenders from the start. It's Turner, Makivecki and uh, Fernando Reese, the one, two, three. And we're hearing from race control that the start is under investigation. Don't know for why at the moment. We'll bring you more news on that when we can. Just on three minutes gone and the leaders are stretching away. Mark Webber. Neil Jarney, the two Porsches, 17 and 18, at the head of the field. And Mark Webber beginning to get a wiggle on. The battle is for fourth position.